that's what I want, basically. I told myself as a 16, 17 years old, I remember that, like, you know it's gonna be difficult, but you promise something to yourself. You will never give up. So sometimes there's, mom there's been moments where you're like, I can't do this anymore. And I was like, ah, it's that bad bell ringing. You heard it, you knew it, it would come sometimes. Like, no, just keep going at it. <laughs> so I'm here and that's what I'm doing. My full name is Gabriel Naim Amor and I'm a musician. say a, a name like Amor never got me a negative experience. I get a smile at the grocery store sometimes when they see my name, especially in Tucson where it's very Hispanic, so Amor is, uh, means love. <laughs> I grew up in Paris, in the 18th arrondissement, which is uh, known for the main tourist attraction is Montmartre, you know, Sacré-Cœur, Pigalle. I had a really great childhood I had growing in Paris. Uh, you learn um, how to be pretty independent because I realized our parents left us just to go play in the streets. Every single corner reminds me of something experienced, but it's also all those corners, they're in paintings. They're in films. So there's something that's kind of magic for me, just to walk in Paris. My grandfather was a musician. He played the violin and the saxophone. He had his own orchestra in the 30s, 40s, to early 50s. Every time we would go in the family, uh, everybody was playing music, so after a lunch, you know, in the summer. The people would just would uh, gather instruments and start playing some music for no audience whatsoever, but just for, for yourself. And so for me, playing music as an acquaintance with gathering, sharing, and do something that's gonna be great. I started playing uh, violin when I was uh, six years old. I know that I quit when I was like 13. I wanted to do something else, but sure enough, six months later, I started playing guitar. I love practicing the instrument. I hope everybody gets something, not necessarily an instrument, uh, guitar, but you have something you can go to every day. It's a it grows and it feeds you. What brought me to Tucson, really, um, um, love. Like, I met a woman then, we were very young, and she was living here. And... But what, what kept me in Tucson, though, is uh, music. The first time I visited uh, Tucson was in 95, and um, the downtown was a uh, very, very quiet, you know. There was like, a, I remember the, clearly the, the Hotel Congress. And then maybe a couple places open at night. Most of the streets were just uh, no man's land. But it was very magical because it was very uh, dense in a, a certain crowd of people that I, I met immediately. And uh, it's, it was kind of like a, a playground for People were just looking for something different, and it clicked with me immediately. I got to play as soon as I, I came here with like amazing musicians. Maybe I, I found what I grew up with, with my family. It's just like you get together and play some music. It doesn't have to be a representation and being a perfect and everything. No, it's just it's, you do what you're doing right at this moment. And that element of spontaneity is part of maybe what's precious. And if there's people and a place where you can capture that, for me, Tucson was the place.
What do I do besides music? Well, I, uh, I have a family. I raised my son with uh, Crystal, my partner. Take care of the house, a little bit of cleaning up in the backyard. Take care of my car my, that I love so much. I like doing little artwork, stop motion things, and uh, that's pretty much it. How do I describe my music? Um, I cannot say I play rock and roll, it's not true. I can say I play jazz, it's not, absolutely not true. So, I don't know what, what I play. Rituals are important to create music. And I think for me, it's, it's very important. Like, even if a small gig, I'm like, I'm gonna play this guitar. But uh, along with the guitar, it's got, it sounds very funny, but I love those shoes and I want to put those shoes on. Sounds very shallow, it's not. It's very important. It's definitely not the end of the world, but it's important. By the way, a lot of people get addictions because they get it, you get, get them in the mood. So I prefer the addiction of shoes and, and cool clothes. If you you want to make a song, you have to find genuinely what what is truly satisfying for you, not for marketing reasons, not for uh, some other people or something like this. I think when I make a record, I hope it's gonna be beautiful and people are gonna say it's so beautiful. But what I hope is they find it beautiful because I find it beautiful. But uh, Picasso said that I'm not searching, I find. Je retiens, tu retiens, le matin. There's something about accepting and, or recognizing what you find. A lot of people find some great stuff, but they don't see it. So they think, oh, it's not good. It's like, it's really good. You don't see it? To me, the mom moment when you're like, you get something, it's like the feeling that you truly own something. Not something you bought, but you truly own it. And you're like, that's, that's me right there. That's... It feeds your soul.